All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how to add Lamborghini doors that go up to a Lamborghini that doesn't have doors that go up. It's going to be a lot of After Effects, Photoshop, Premiere. Hope you guys are ready. I'm going to do everything, not really skip any steps. It's going to be long and boring, but if you want to do it, this is how. First thing we do, we've got a clip that we filmed for this sideways. Let's see. That's the part of me getting out. And as you can see here, I have my fake hand going up. So that's the clip we're adding it to. So let's make that a new sequence, full size 4K. And then what we need to do is get the, I guess the, what's it called? The plate. So right here in to out is the car still. That's gonna be our Photoshop plate. So let's throw that on top. So what we need to do is cut out a perfect door. So I will export this frame right here. And let's add that to our Lambo folder. JPEG, whatever, who cares? So now we go to Photoshop and we've got our Lambo folder and we need to cut out this door. I'm going to zoom in, grab the pen tool. And since the mirror is attached to the door as well, mirror is coming with it. Let's make sure this is nice and somewhat clean. You guys want to learn my uh, pen tool technique? Do that another time. Let's see right to here. Oh yeah, you guys don't even know about this technique. And right up here, let's clean that up so it's right on the edge. There and to here. So we're pretty much just outlining the whole door assembly that's going to go up. If you don't know how to use the pen tool, this might be confusing. You can use the lasso tool, but You'd be a psychopath for using that. Okay, so we have the door cut out. Now we go to our paths, highlight that, control J, and now we've got our Lambo door. Looks pretty clean. I don't mind it one bit. So now we can turn off this layer, file, save as a PNG of the Lambo door cutout. Perfect. So now what we need to do is take this clip here, let me get it out, bring that into After Effects, and then add the door. So let's, this plate right here, because we don't need it yet, right click, replace with After Effects Composition. We have our After Effects open. Oops, let's see. Zoom out so we can see it all. And I'm going to bring my Lambo door cutout to the project window. Uh, and I need to track the car so that when I make the window go up, so when I make the door go up, it moves with it. Because right now if I throw it in, let's see, it's going to look like this. See how it floats around? Useless. So let's get some nice tracking points that I don't walk by. If I track closer to this door here, I'm gonna walk by that so that's useless. So let's track, uh, click on this, track motion, position and rotation because scale does not change. And let's throw this uh, here. This looks like a spot. Then our second spot will be this little flag right here. So if we zoom out and I'll well, zoom in on this part right here and click track or analyze or whatever. You can see it's doing a pretty good job. 
I feel like this one here is acting up a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to keep that or not. Should be fine though. If you put it on the wheel, the suspension is going to change. It's not going to add up. Nice. New. Null object. Edit target. Null. Okay. Go down. Apply. X and Y. And now if I make this visible. Here, let's line it up where maybe it should be. Well, I guess we should line it up, you know, when I open it. That looks about right. And then I'll connect this to the null object, hide the null object so I don't see that red square. And if I zoom out and click spacebar, the door stays there pretty properly. So now what I need to do is make the door hinge up at the same point with my arm. So we need to find where to hinge it first. So now we need to adjust the, I think, what is it? Anchor point, which is this little anchor point looking symbol. We're just gonna screw up our location, but that's fine. I just gotta find what makes the door look like it goes up the most realistically. So let's put it there and then mess with the rotation. So that looks pretty good. Um, what if I, no, I mean, that looks pretty good. Oops. Yeah, no, that's a good spot. So like if I didn't do that anchor point thing, like say it was right here when I rotate it, you know what I mean? And then I've got to move the position. So instead all I'm going to do is make it anchor around the pivot point. So let's go back. That looks nice. Now let's zoom in. Oh, our rotation's not zero. Oh God. What did I do? Undo until it goes back to normal. There was my anchor point. Ah, and did it all. So bring the anchor point back here. And let's test that out one more time. Yeah, that's good. Well, maybe a little lower. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. Looks like a real Lambo door. So there, I line it up and it will hang out in the same spot. Oh no, it didn't. It's probably because I undid to the point where it wasn't part of that null object anymore. There we go. Null. And there, now it follows the door pretty okay. Like not the best here. That's better, but you know, the door's gonna be up by that point anyway, so who cares? See, it is a little jittery, and that's because this was a bad tracking point, but it'll be fine. So now let's make it opaque. Let's bring the transparency down so I can actually see what's going on. This is where the door will be closed. It'll be closed up until here, and then I want it. By the time my foot comes out, the door should already be lifted a bit. So let me put my rotation. That's the first lift already. And this is where I start to lift it. So it'll look like, and then my hand, well, you won't be able to see it really. At this point, the door should be up here. So it'll look like. I want it to get there quicker because the first pull of a door is usually quick. Okay, let's ease out and then ease in. Let's 
then we should add a before we ease in we should add another keyframe because we want it to kind of hang out there for a bit so ease in and then let's copy this frame and move it here so the door doesn't move so we, we pull it up stop and then more so like up leg comes out all the way up I come out so a little too quick there so we need to up mm -hmm. yeah that actually looks pretty good so now let's add another frame here so we can easy ease out another frame here so that we can easy ease in and not screw up everything else with automatic frame blending Yeah, that looks pretty good. What's this weird jump? Okay, something's weird. Let's turn those off. There we go. That's better. So now if we look at it with, you know, full opacity, it'll look like this. Here, maybe it needs to render out once. See, that looks believable. And then we need to add motion. What is this? Motion blur. Then put on the motion blur button. So now when it goes up, you'll see the door has some blur so it doesn't look as sharp. You can really notice it right here see how the Italian flag is blurry if I turn this off it's sharp which makes it look fake so this is acceptable right now but if you look really carefully you can see there's a door behind it and the mirror so now what we need to do is uh, we can go back to our premiere take a little screenshot of what it looks like with the door closed right here and then a little screenshot of what it looks like with the door open right here so we know what parts we need to mask out next so let's bring these two into the same Photoshop file oh what did I bring in there we go I got confused. I got confused. Okay, so here is the layer on top. This is door up, Photoshop out the old mirror and door. So to do that, we would. Let's start with this door. Let's just make this whole area right in here black. I got my path, solid color and let's pick this black right here add some blur around the mask just a little bit and then let's blend that in with some masking brush that should be pretty good so you can't even tell down here that it doesn't belong and we'll slide that underneath the door so let's start with just that uh, file save as under the door behind the door after effects behind the door Let's add this layer. Oh, I should probably stretch across the whole thing. Okay, so let's zoom in. Make this a little bit less visible and line it up with that so the door will be covered. 
and then let's make it fully opaque bring it below the Lamborghini door and link it to null one so it tracks so now if we look right here, oh god yeah save layout so now if we look you don't see any door oops there you see the old door and now there's no door and see my leg is kind of covered but when I pull my foot out nobody really notices so we're good there now we need to deal with I guess this part right here let's see does my hand cover any of that part no and then the door stays up so all we need to do is cover it at the beginning so let's go back to Photoshop and we've got this right here I need um, so let's bring that first file into Premiere now we know exactly what it's going to look like on the first frame so when we line it up it should be perfect so now here is the area with the door closed so now we know what we need to mask out so let's line this up as best we can okay see how it's off a little bit let's try to rotate it okay there perfect now let's get difference off now that I've got the plate layer on top of the layer I need to edit, I'm going to mask it, invert it, and only paint in the stuff that I know I need. So there with the, with the white brush. Is this white? It looks kind of gray. No, it's white. So right here. See that? Look, perfect. Got all that dashboard in there. I mean this here is like a little bit wrong so let me just rasterize layer and then I'll move this down there so it lines up perfectly what else do we need to do oh what's all this stuff so that's going to be the mirror which we don't need now let's get rid of this mirror right here all the way Be careful with the tree branches because those things are gonna overlay weird and screw everything up oh well, look how nice that's gonna line up hmm, perfect okay so if you really want to get anal, you can remove this whole incorrect shadow. Oh god. I'll do that later if I feel like it. So now we have that stuff masked out, but there's an issue. If we close that, see we still have this here that we need to get rid of. So let's eyedropper that and then add just, just paint it in oops went off a little too much on the side there and we can probably now you know what let's just stick to this color and paint all the stuff the same nobody will know the difference and it'll look better And then let's add a little bit of black here to smooth that out. Nobody's eye catches that. 
And if we show that below, so you can't see the mirror anymore. Add a little more black so people can't tell what's going on. But that's going to be behind the other mirror, so it's you'll be, you know, no one will know. Wow, is this boring or what? You guys want it behind the scenes. This is how behind the scenes works. Okay, see there's a little bit of red here. That's going to show up too, so let's make that black. Oh, too much. There, now nobody will know what's going on behind that. This may look sloppy, but it'll work perfect, I think. File, save as PNG. Uh, behind the door mirror area too, because we tried it earlier and it flopped. So let's add that in. Did it do it or, uh, yeah, there it is. So now on the first frame, because that's where it lined up from when we took the screenshot in Premiere. That way we don't have to do any adjusting. So let's put this behind the door and link it to null one. Uh, let's hope this works. Yeah, pretty good. You can kind of see it flickering right up here at the door panel part. Because I had a bad tr initial tracking because of this right here. But I'll let it go because from here no one's going to notice. And I think we're done, to be honest. I mean, I could make it better. Or I can just stop. So I think it's going to stop. Nice. Good job, Yuri. <laughs> Worked through my problems. So that flickering I was talking about right here, you'll be able to see how it moves because of the bad tracking. And that was because I tracked off this point right here, which moved around a lot. I should have picked a more high contrast part, maybe the amber headlight or the part of the bumper here. This part was nice and solid, but I'll let it go. And if you notice it in the final video, you know. All right, bonus round. I'm going to get rid of that jitter because it's driving me crazy. Let's go back to our tracking. So here, uh, tracker, track motion, scale, position rotation. So this worked really great on this flag here because it had really high contrast. This worked awfully right there. So let's do this one on this amber light, I think. Yeah, that's way better. And now I'll just replace everything and it'll be less jitter and I'll be happier. You didn't think you guys were going to get bonus round. <laughs> Actually, that's even a better point to track to than that light. It would be down here, this thing right here. Edit. New no object. Edit target. No to. Okay. Down to apply. Click okay. And then I'll come to this first thing and instead I will... Uh, everything will go to null two, and that should solve everything in this whole video. Oh, what did I do? Control zero. Fit. Yeah, that's smoother. You can see the door doesn't move as much, but now I need to correct the door position. Look at that ugly door gap. Could you believe they let Lamborghinis leave the factory? With so much door gap, I can't. I still get a little jitter up at the top of the windshield. Yeah, see right there. But nobody's going to notice that.
export media. Save it as better tracking. Here we go. Not responding. It'll respond. It'll respond. <sighs> this is what happens when I say, yo, I should make doors go up on the Lambo. And then I'm an hour into an edit trying to figure things out. That's what I do for you guys. Maybe six people who watch this far. That's it. See you later.